Hello and welcome to Robo. Today we are going to make a web server and we are going to control electrical appliances from a web page provided by that web server. So let's get started. So to make this project we require Arduino MKR Wi-Fi 1010. This board has got 8 digital I.O. pins, 6 analog input pins, 13 PWM pins, 1 USB micro to program it. It has got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. So let's get started with this board. You can make many projects with this board but for now we are going to make a web server. So along with this board we require two relay module. So this relay module has got two relays so that you can connect two electrical devices at its output. So I am going to connect one light bulb at the output of relay 1. This relay module has got four pins VCC ground which will go to 5 volts. So for 5 volts we will be using external power supply this is a 5 volt 2 ampere adapter. So in 1 and in 2 are the two inputs which will drive these two relays. When we give high to the in 1, the relay 1 will turn off. When we give low, that means 0, the relay 1 will turn on. So at 0, it's turning on. But Arduino MKR cannot give 5 volts. It can give 3.3 volts maximum. So we need to switch 0 volts. So to do that, we will be using one transistor BC547. So this transistor has got three legs, emitter, base and collector. So when the emitter is given ground and base is given high, the emitter given to the ground will jump to the collector and the relay will activate. So in this way the transistor works. So let's connect the circuit and uh, upload the code in Arduino MKR and make the web server. So to make circuit we require breadboard also with jumper wires. So I've already made some connections so that the connections making will be easy. So I'll quickly make the connection, the circuit diagram is given in the blog, link is in the description and then we will make this board compatible with the Arduino IDE and upload our program. So the connections are made on the breadboard, I have connected relay module to Arduino MKR board and I have also connected one bulb to the output of the relays. So now let's program the Arduino MKR board, so for it we need to connect it to the USB COM port and now we will open the Arduino IDE. So here you can see uh, the Arduino MKR board is recognized but if your, if your board is not recognized that means it's not added in the Arduino ID. So to do that you go to boards manager, you search here Arduino MKR and here you will find Arduino SMD board 32 bits ARM Cortex M0 by Arduino. You have to install this board library and once it's installed you have to include this Wi-Fi library at the very top of the code. This is our code IoT Relay Control. I'm going to explain it later. So you need to download the Wi-Fi library. So you search here Wi-Fi NINA. Go to Library Manager and search Wi-Fi NINA. If you install this library Wi-Fi NINA by Arduino, hit on install, it will be installed. And now we are ready to upload the code. But the important function is print web. So in the print web you can see we, these are the code lines for our web page. So we print HTTP OK. Then we print content type HTML. So the lines in client.print that is our HTML page. So client.print here you can see H1. So we have given one heading to our web page Robo Studio Web Dashboard. Then there are four buttons. Okay. So this four line represents four button. This is button one which is used to turn on the bulb. You can see the caption here, turn on bulb. So whenever this button is clicked, this link opens. That is nothing but our server IP address, which ends with slash H. So whenever the program detects it ends with slash H, it turns on the bulb. In similar way, the next button, you can see here, I've given height and width to the button. When we click, this link opens, which is server IP address, ending with slash L. In similar way, the next button is for slash y and slash n which is for the another relay to turn it on and off. So right now we are only turning relay 1. So I have connected only bulb to its output but you can also use another relay. You can use 8 relays connected to this ordinary MKR board because it has got 8 digital I.O. pins. So you can use 8, you can use it to control 8 electrical devices. It depends upon you how you want to make the project. So this is the code, now let's upload this code. First check whether the board is selected or not, go to tools and select the board, 
Arduino SMD board. Yes, Arduino MKR is selected. And go to port. Yes, proper port is selected. The code is still compiling now. So yes, the code is uploaded in the Arduino MKR board, and you can see here, verify successful. The code is uploaded. Now we open the serial monitor, and you can see here the message is getting popped up, attempting to connect to SSID, and it's searching for a Wi-Fi network to connect. So I'll turn on the hotspot on my mobile phone. So as soon as I turn on the Wi-Fi network, it will connect to it. And it will give us the IP address. The IP address is the link which will access through our browser that will give us the HTML web page. Then we can control our devices through smartphone or laptop from a web server. So yes. Has given us this message to see the page in action. Open browser to HTTP 192. So this is our IP address. We we'll copy this link and we'll open a browser. So first we need to connect our laptop to the same Wi-Fi network which uh, which the board is connected. So we'll connect the laptop to the same Wi-Fi network. So as it's connected, the link is copied. Now we'll open the browser and paste the link here and hit enter. So you can see this web page has appeared with the heading Robo Studio Web Dashboard, and there are four buttons to turn on the bulb, turn off the bulb, turn on fan, and turn off fan. So you saw in the code there are four lines. Okay. So these four lines represent the four buttons. Okay. And this line represent the heading. So the code is given in the blog link is in the description you can just copy this code modify it depending on your project so you can see right now there are four buttons on this web page this web page is created so i will power this board with 5 volts it should also power the relay module and first let's check whether the relays are working or not so i'll hit on turn on bulb the relay one activates and hit on turn off bulb the relay one deactivates So if you hear the clicking sound that means the relays are okay they're turning on and off So now let's connect the bulb to 230 volts and see whether it turns on and off how it turns on and off So I've connected the bulb now I'll hit on turn on bulb the bulb turns on when I hit on turn off bulb the bulb turns off Okay So in this way we can control electrical devices from a web dashboard this ip address can also be accessed through your smartphone all you need to do is open the browser on your smartphone and open the type the ip address on the address bar and this link will be open so you can see this html web page that we created is also on our smartphone because our smartphone is connected to the same wifi network So if I click on turn on bulb, the bulb will turn on. If I don't turn off bulb, the bulb turns off. So in this way, we can access the server from our smartphone, from our laptop, and we can control devices in our home, or studio, or anywhere at, at your workplace. So if you like this project, give a like to this video, share this video with your friends. Until next time, stay tuned with Robu.